Check, check, check. Okay. We're back here from McKee Field at Hayden Park for the top half of the second inning. Thank you so much for tuning in today here on Red Hawk Radio. Six to nothing Red Hawks. The Oakland Golden Grizzlies are trying to claw back in this one. Coming up, it's Brandon Heidel. Takes ball two there. Brandon Heidel from Orange, California. Played at Servite High School in the Trinity League. He'll try and help the Golden Grizzlies claw back in this one. Trail by six. Two and one. Make it three and one. That one just outside on Patrick Mastrian, who, after a tough start to the first inning, retired three straight Oakland batters, Cleary, Nye, and Day. Three, four, and five hitters. The three-one pitch on Heidel. And this one fouled back on the right side. Three and two now. Heidel, one of the top defensive catchers in the Horizon League. Threw out 35% of batters trying to steal last year in the Horizon League. The payoff pitch on Heidel and Masherian plunks him to start the second inning. Just some control issues early in this game from Patrick Masterian. It's the second hit batter that he's put on base so far in this game. Just needs to settle down and, and get into a little bit of a rhythm like he did at the end of the first inning when he was able to get out of that jam. Here comes John Longer now, and he takes strike one. Pretty pitch there from Patrick Mastrian. Longer, a 294 batter and 17 at bats. Beautiful off speed pitch there from Mastrian. Quickly ahead in the count, 0 and 2 on Longer, the DH. You had Longer way out in front of that one there. Great change of pace there from Mastrian. No balls and two strikes on Longer. And the pitch, this one fouled back behind Novak. He'll keep it 0-2. Tried to come back with something a little harder there after giving the off speed to Longer. An 0-2 count, still a lot of freedom for Mastrian, but that runner on first. I don't want to risk bouncing anything in the dirt and allowing that runner to advance. No balls and two strikes. This one just down low. Nearly had him. It'll instead go to one and two on Longer. John Longer from Scottsdale, Arizona. This one clubbed on the left side. Look out in the Miami dugout. Nearly had him but it'll stay one and two. Against Cincinnati went 0 for one with a walk and a strikeout. So patient hitter, he'll try and create something here for the Golden Grizzlies who are down by six. Check swing on the left side and actually gonna say it hit him. So he will advance over to first back to back hit by pitches on Oakland, the second baseman. here comes up Number 20, Drew, Drew Gaskins, Gaskins here for Oakland. Thought he had him, but. He almost got him to bite there on that pitch, but it just leaked too far inside and on the appeal. It was clear that he did not go around on that swing. And so two quick free base runners for Oakland who, despite having no hits, have managed to get four base runners on in these first two innings. Haven't been able to capitalize so far, but the opportunities have been there for Oakland. 
Line up close to flipping over here for Oakland. Got Gaskins, the eight hitter, Griffith, the nine hitter, and then up to the top, Bushy and Rice. Two batters who were already on base in the first half here for Oakland. So kind of similar to the Red Hawks, if they can just stay patient, it's gonna be a if you're an Oakland fan, it's gonna be a brand new ball game. So now here comes Drew Gaskins from Sunbury, Ohio, around Columbus. Trying to advance both runners. This one hit over to second, four, six, three. No, doesn't get the double play, but the runner advances over. That is Heidel. So a uh, ground out by Gaskins will have it runners at the corners here for G Griffith coming up. Gaskins did a good job to prevent that double play, and now the difference between the situations is significant if he doesn't get the first base there, and you've got only one out now with multiple runners on. And a lot of times teams will try to steal that runner on first base and get him into second. We'll see if Oakland decides to try and get two in scoring position with just one down. So here comes Griffith, Harrison Griffith from Arlington, Texas. Takes ball one, first pitch. Bushy and Rice, the next batters to come up. Hey, little check in on Gaskins there. Stay safe. So runners at the corner, it's Gaskins and Heidel on right now. Griffith trying to get the first run of the day here for Oakland. Second pitch, 2-0 now. Both of these pitchers are already in the first couple innings starting to get up there in pitch count. Mastrian has hit the 30 threshold and Pydeck is over 30 in his first inning of work. So we might see a lot of bullpen action from both of these teams throughout the course of this game, especially from Oakland with their situation down six runs. Pydak, or at least Mastrian has been able to, to get out of some of these jams, but Pydak has given up so many runs and taken so many pitches to do it. Beautiful off-speed pitch there on Griffith. Got him swinging, runner going. It is Gaskins, he's safe, coming in to score now. Brandon Heidel, a beautiful double steal there. Brings in the first runner of the day here for Oakland, make it Six to one here in the second. It's drawn up to perfection. And so they tried to pull that throw to second and Novak did throw it, but not in time. And so Miami unable to stop that play in any sense. And Oakland executes that well. Griffith rips this one over to short. Play is made. Baker over to Novak. And that is the second out. And here comes the top half of the Oakland lineup once more. Reggie Bushy set to go. He was Horizon League all freshman team last year. 55 games, 252 batting average for the Golden Grizzlies. His batting average so far, 433. Great start to the year for him. 13 for 30. First pitch on Bushy is down low, ball one. Walked in his first at bat to start off the game. Gaskins on second. This one nearly in time. Gaskins a little bit late there. Gordon, excuse me, Baker almost had him off, but Goes back just in time, so the inning stays alive. I think with a better throw from Mastry, and they might have gotten him. He was certainly, the ball certainly beat him back to the base. The tag kind of took the second baseman, or the shortstop away from him. They got him again there, but quickly getting back in is Gaskins. Feels like one of those times you're going to catch him off guard. Two 
really great opportunities. Just a little bit late on the pickoff at second base. Gaskins is, is being healthy with his lead. A lot of space off that second base bag. Forcing mastery into this Miami defense to at least consider his presence out there. So Rice and Cleary, next batters that come up here for Oakland. Mastrian delivers. Strike one call. Two and one. And Oakland just trying to extend the inning here and chip back in this one. Two and one here on Reggie Bushy. This one down low, three and one. And this could potentially open things up here for Oakland. They're two and three hitters set to go after Bushy. Three one pitch, make it three two. A beautiful pitch right over the heart of the plate that made Bushy second guess that one. It's now a full count here, two outs, runner on second, big pitch upcoming. If you're mastering here, Addison, you going off speed or straight up fastball? Well, I think his fastball has been good. He's had some he's had some problems controlling his breaking ball at points, but when it's been on, Oakland's had a tough time hitting it. I think he probably will go with something off speed. It looked like he did there with that change up. Busey was just able to catch up. Or just able to stay back rather and foul that one off just barely. So he stays alive, three balls and two strikes. Reggie Bushy trying to keep this alive here for Oakland. And this one hammered out to left. Running over is Anthony Zarlingo to his right, able to make the catch close to the wall. And that will do it for the top half of the second inning. So no hits. But one run for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Back-to-back -back hit by pitches that led to a RBI chance from Harrison Griffith. And the Oakland Golden Grizzlies trail by five, six to one. As we head to the bottom half of the second, you're listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Number 11, center fielder, Zach McDonald. Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Andrew Rowan alongside Addison Lenhart here on Red Hawk Radio. Miami up 6-1 to one here in the second inning. It was a real two-out explosion from the Red Hawks. Zach McDonald will try and replicate this here against Hunter Pydek for the second inning. Miss ball there, one and one here on McDonald, who had a bunt single in the first. One ball and one strike on McDonald, and he fouls this one onto the right side. One and two on the center fielder. 
Red Hawks, they had a ton of runners in scoring position in the first. That led to a lot of good opportunities that they for sure did not squander. That's why it's six to one. Two balls and two strikes on McDonald. Here's the pitch, off-speed pitch. Beautiful stuff there from Hunter Pydek as he sits down Zach McDonald with a strikeout swinging for the first out. Nice job there by Pydek getting a good start to this inning after that semi-disastrous first. And it looks like Miami's, or excuse me, Oakland is sending a fourth outfielder out into the field for Ryland Zabrowski's at bat here. So they've got a uh, left fielder and a left center fielder, and then a right and right center fielder, it appears. This has got to be the, the hitter you want to send the fourth outfielder out there for you. Led the Mac in homers last year, 20 homers. Let me tell you, those homers, they were not short by any means. They were out by a long, long margin. Quickly 0-2 here on Zaborowski. as Pydek has really been attacking the strike zone well here in the second. Try and continue that. No balls and two strikes on Zaborowski. And this one down and away, one and two. Zaborowski played in the Trent MLB Draft Summer League and he rips this one out to center. Running over, this one is actually gonna bounce in for a base hit. Looked like it was a lot longer, but bounces in for a base hit out to center. And the Red Hawks have a base runner on first. One out, it'll bring up David Novak next. Good piece of hitting there by Zabrowski to just fight that inside pitch off. And the outfielder's in position there if they were playing a little bit shallower, but that ball just fluttering to the ground for Zabrowski and able to get on base there for Novak. Would say wind is a factor, but it hasn't really been too windy. This one cranked by David Novak, out to left, running over is Rice, and he misses the catch. This one goes out of his glove. He stays down for a moment. Bushy able to clear that one up, throw it into the infield, but Another beautiful swing there from Novak and Zaborowski. Brings up two runners on here. And one out for Anthony Zarlingo. Sets to go back-to-back -back singles for the Red Hawks. It's number two, left fielder, Anthony Zarlingo. That one for Rice. I'm sure the clouds were definitely a factor. Hard to see. The ball in limited light. Here comes Anthony Zarlingo now. Takes strike one right down Broadway. Zarlingo one for one already with an RBI single in the first. Made it two to nothing. Second RBI of the day for Miami. And he rips this one on the right side. This one will go in for a single coming around third. Two score is the big man, Rylan Zaborowski. Back-to-back -back RBI singles for Anthony Zarlingo, and the Red Hawks are up 7-1 to one here in the second. Number six, shortstop Another Dylan nice Baker. piece of hitting there. That time from Zarlingo, and a line drive able to get that one into the outfield. Running on contact, able to score that one there. Dylan Baker had that nice hit to the wall his last at bat. We'll see how Pydek attacks him with two runners on again and only one down. First pitch, a good one for Pydek, strike one. And it, it swings like those where Red Hawks fans gotta feel good about the offense. Just making the pitcher work and finding the right pitch to strike on. 0-1 make it, 0-2 a real hot shot there from Pydek, makes it 0-2. Dylan Baker, an RBI double, like you just mentioned, hit the wall in the first. Another towering swing there from Dylan Baker, the veteran for Miami. Two runners on. 
this one well high and somehow some way Baker got a piece of that one to foul back just a good job to catch up to that one Baker was way behind it able to fight that one off and give himself a chance here against Pydak who deep in the count has a few times let one leak over the middle of the plate against a few of these Miami hitters 0-2 oh swing and a miss strikeout swinging on Dylan Baker Hunter Pydak brings the high heat over the heart of the plate and he goes down swinging for the second out. So two strikeouts in the inning for Hunter Pydek. But threat on the base pass still a factor here for Hunter Pydek and the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Ryan Novak coming up, the freshman, takes strike one down the middle. Novak. One for one with an RBI single in the first. Trying to create some more two out magic here for the Red Hawks. Second pitch, opposite result, well down low. One and one on Novak. So it's Zarlingo on first, David Novak on second. Ryan Novak, one and one, just missed on the right side. It was belt high, but just a little bit off there. Two and one on Novak now. Two balls and a strike, and this one is hammered out towards the right side. Coming in to score, it is David Novak. Here comes Anthony Zarlingo to first to throw at home, not in time. A two out, two run RBI double for Ryan Novak, the true freshman. Balloons the lead here for the Red Hawks. It's nine to one, Miami here in the second. Again, just turning on that pitch, going with it, taking it into the gap, and Zarlingo was off to the races. Able to score all the way from first despite that ball not even splitting the outfielders and getting all the way out there. It was cut off deep in right field there by Cleary. And Zarlingo's speed just putting pressure on the defense of Oakland and stretching out this lead for the Red Hawks. And the Red Hawks offense is relentless. These guys do not let up. It's nine to one here in the second and Hunter Pydek's day is done. We'll see who the new pitcher is in just a moment. But the Red Hawks lead nine to one here in the second. We will step away. You're listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Stay tuned for more Red Hawk action momentarily.
Welcome back to baseball. The score is nine to one. New pitcher in here for Oakland. It's Gage Smith. Limited action, only pitched a third of an inning versus Eastern Kentucky. Wow. Two walks, but struck out one. Here comes Trey Keels here for the Red Hawks. Takes a ball down low, one and one on Keels, who walked in the first inning. Runner on second being Ryan Novak, who had a two-run double to make it nine to nothing Miami. Red Hawks once again trying to Continue to be relentless here in the scoring column. Two and one, and Trey Keels smacks one out on the left side. Fair ball. Keels goes over to second. Coming in to score is Ryan Novak. Here comes Keels over to third. The race over to third. Is it in time? Is It is in time. And he goes out, but an RBI double there from Trey Keels makes it 10 to one Miami here in the second. And the runs are once more a factor here for Miami. That does it for the second inning. So the score, 10-1 to 1 Miami on top of the Golden Grizzlies. will step away here from McKee Field at Hayden Park. We'll go back to McKee Field at Hayden Park right. for the top half of the third end. Drew Elvis alongside Addison Lenhart. Red Hawks are up 10 to 1. Six runs in the first, four runs in the second. Patrick Mastry and out for his third inning of action. Strike one called there on Trent Rice. Good first pitch to start the inning. The deal, this one, beautiful off-speed pitch there from Mashran. Swung on a missed strike two there. He's quickly ahead on Trent Rice, who was hit by pitch in the first inning. No balls and two strikes on Trent Rice. Three straight strikes and a strikeout swing in for Patrick Mashran once more. Strikeout number two on the day for Mashrian. That is the first out of the third for Miami. Good pace to that at bat there by Mastrian. Worked very efficiently on that high fastball. He was able to blow it by to get that strikeout. And he's starting to settle into a little bit of a rhythm, I think. He cleaned up at the end of both of those first two innings. He cleaned things up after getting himself in some trouble to begin both innings. And now he's, he's come out with a little more consistency throughout these first two at bats after that strike there. Now four straight strikes for Patrick Mastrian. This one button foul, so he'll make it five. Ian Cleary quickly behind 0-2. He flew out to center in the first at bat and pretty solid contact. One of the top Oakland hitters. Trying to continue to stay in a groove here for 
Golden on Grizzlies. No balls and two strikes. And this one swung on a miss. Strikeout swinging on Ian Cleary. Back-to-back -back Ks for Patrick Mashrian. Quickly with Brandon two outs. It'll Nye. bring up Brandon Nye. Mastrian through two innings of work, still yet to give up a hit despite giving up that run that came across in the second inning. His defense has, has helped him out after he's put some runners on. But he's pitched well here in this third inning, and he's, and he's pitched well enough to get him out of that trouble as well. Well, that's seven straight strikes for Patrick Mastrian. Against Brandon Nye, make it eight straight strikes. Brandon Nye. Quickly behind 0-2, already struck out on the first inning against Mastrian. Try not to be strikeout victim number four. No balls and two strikes, two outs quickly here for the Red Hawks. This one just outside. So the inning stays alive just for a moment for Brandon Nye and the Golden Grizzlies. One ball, two strike on Nye, and this one is ripped right on the hot corner. Ryland Zaborowski dives, makes the stop, throws over to first to Ryan Novak, and that does it for the top half of the third inning. So a one, two, three, third inning for Patrick Mastrian and the Red Hawks, and that will turn things over to the Red Hawk batting half for the bottom half of the third. You're listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Red Hawks up big on the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. 10 to 1 here in the third. Welcome back to Oxford. The Red Hawks up 10 to one on top of Oakland. Rain starting to come down here on the key field at Hayden Park. Now up to bat here for Miami. It's Tyler Gordon, who his first pitch is a ball. Tyler Gordon clubs one foul on the left side. Make it one and one. In the first, he had a two-run triple to make it six to nothing Miami, pretty much in a blink of an eye. Trying to continue to stay dangerous, and he does just that. He slaps this one out on the right side, out to right field. Cleary makes the stop, but a leadoff single for Tyler Gordon continues what is a onslaught of Miami offense. They are just relentless they do not give up we're up nine right now and the 12th hit of the game there for Miami and another hard line drive by Gordon a lot of these hits for Miami have been just that hard contact they have worked for these runs and earned them by putting the ball in play in the gaps and stretching extra bases and putting pressure on this defense for Oakland here comes Ty Bodasic for the third time. Gets a ball in the dirt. He's 0 for 2 with two flyouts. A fly out to center, fly out to right, both on the first. And if there was a player that you think you would 
score all these runs would be Ty Bodasic, but it's kind of been this bottom half of the lineup here for Miami who's been able to pick up the slack. Quickly 3-0 and on Ty Bodasic, the DH, Western Kentucky transfer. He gets a strike called on hitter's count, 3-1 and one now. Bodasic actually the only Miami player to not find themselves in the hit column so far in this game. Every other starter for Miami has hit on base. And he draws a walk there. So now every Miami batter has reached base at least once. And with that, that'll bring up Zach McDonald, who has another awesome opportunity in front of him. Got two runners on, and no outs. He will try and continue to put on some runs here for the Red Hawks. Scored the first run of the day with a bunt single, and he hammers this one out to left field. It's going to bounce in front of the left fielder, Trent Rice. And all three bases are now occupied. Station to station, the Red Hawks go. And here we go. Ryland Zaborowski, bases loaded, no outs. This is a dream scenario here if you're a Red Hawks fan. Red Hawks third baseman, Ryland Zaborowski. Gage Smith going to have to be oh. very careful with the pitches that he puts on across the plate for Zabrowski. You'd imagine that he's going to be very careful, but he's going to have, he's going to have to be, not be too careful with the bases loaded. Miami threatening. First pitch high on Zaborowski, and he's a right-handed batter. So even if he shortens up his swing a little bit, that one is getting into the outfield. Second base completely clear. Check swing there. Right inside, he went. So it'll go to one and one. Also Zaborowski, two for two, a double and a single. Earlier on this game. Third pitch, ball two. This one in the dirt right near his shoes. Be two and one on Zabo. David Novak and Zarlingo, the batters after Zaborowski. Strike two call. Beautiful pitch on the outside corner. Makes it closer here for Ryland Zaborowski. Led the Mac and Homers last year. The two two pitch on Zaborowski. Skies this one out on the right side. Gonna go. Out of play foul. So far, Gage has done well against Zaborowski. He check swings this one right to Gage. Zaborowski is going to go over to first, but Red Hawks won't get the run in. Tyler Gordon. But good thing for Miami. One out, and base is still loaded here for David Novak coming up. The smart play there by Smith, and they get a a break there from Zabrowski on the check swing. And Miami still with an opportunity here, but a break there for Oakland and can maybe settle Gage Smith down a little bit with the heart of this Miami order come to the plate now. Fouled off, first pitch by David Novak on the left side. Novak, so far one for two. RBI ground out and a single in First and second innings. Clubs this one foul on the right side. Quickly behind 0-2. And, and so far Smith has done well here for Oakland. Trying to stop the fire. Novak hammers this one out to center. Not going to be enough coming in is Reggie Bushy. He will make the catch, but coming in to score for Miami, it's Ty Bodasic. And the Red Hawks are up 11 to 1 with a sacrifice fly out to center by David Novak. So the runs keep coming here for Miami, up 10 now. 13 hits to none for Oakland. Here comes Anthony Zarlingo now. Got two runners on and two outs. 
First pitch to the Zarlingo, down low, ball one. These first two innings for the Red Hawks, they have scored runs with two outs in the inning. So hopefully another good sign to come here for the Red Hawks. Ball two called there on Zarlingo, who is two for two with two RBI singles. Two and oh, two and one. Beautiful pitch right down the center of the plate there by Smith. Another pitch there. Pretty much the same spot, but just a little bit elevated there. Three balls and one strike on Anthony Zarlingo. Southwest Tennessee Community College transfer. He pops this one in the air. Out to left, running over is Trent Rice, so make the catch, and that will do it for the third inning. So one more run on the board here for the Red Hawks. They're up 11 to one after three. We will step away here from McKee Field at Hayden Park. Stay tuned for more Miami baseball in just one moment. Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. So far, Miami with a dominant performance offensively. 13 in the hit column, 11 in the run column, as they have an 11-1 lead over the Golden Grizzlies of Oakland as they, as Oakland with their at bat in the top of the fourth here, beginning with a ball on the outside corner to Day. Lucas Day, the freshman, hitting 333 coming into this game. Takes that first pitch for a ball. Patrick Mastrian on the mound for the Red Hawks, yet to surrender a hit in this game. He surrendered a run and a few base runners. Has hit three batters, but has managed to navigate all of it with virtually unscathed. Two balls and no strikes today. And he lines that one into left center field, and that's going to split the gap. Cut off at the last second by Zarlingo, who fires it back in towards the infield to hold Day at first base for a single. But some life for Oakland as they have their first hit of the game off Patrick Mastry in the fourth. Well, that was a beautiful swing there from Day, able to just loosen up and smack one out into the left field side. Phenomenal pitch to hit in. Hopefully, Oakland can break this one out and get the bats going. Catcher Brandon Heidel at the plate now for Oakland, and he takes a strike to begin the at-bat. Very chilly day here in Oxford, and overcast weather. That one in the dirt. For a ball to even the count at one and one. Breaking ball there from Mastrian. Just didn't quite have the legs. 
Day leads off first. Astrian will go to the plate, and that one is inside for ball two. Up and in there to Heidel. Nearly was the fourth hit batter of the game for Amastrian. 2-1 pitch coming. That one in the dirt for ball three. So Amastrian, who's had some control issues in the first two innings, seemingly solved those in that top of the third with a three-up, three-down inning. But some of those struggles popping back up here in the top of the fourth. The 3-1 delivery is back up the middle, and it's bobbled by the second baseman, and everybody is going to be safe. Gordon could not control that one off the bat of Heidel, and first and second now for Oakland. That was a real hot shot right up the middle. Just a tough play to make there by Tyler Gordon. <laughs> He almost had it, but just at the last second, the ball escaped his glove, and this is a huge opportunity here for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Don't have to get all 10 runs back, but a hit and see where you go from there. Allowing her up the middle, and Gordon will just take it to the bag himself and turn two. A nice play there by Tyler Gordon. And all of a sudden, there's two outs and a runner on third for Oakland after first and second with nobody down. Larson will come to the plate now for Oakland. The junior infielder. Two down in the top of the fourth. Squaring to bunt and pulling at the last second for a ball. A run on a hit in this game for Oakland. Their first hit coming at the top of this inning to begin things. Mastrian has managed to navigate it to two outs with only a runner on third after a first and second no out situation, but a two ball count now to Eric Larson, the second baseman. Two zero pitch does not find the strike zone too far outside. 3-0 now to Larson. Masterin has to dial in here. You got a runner on third, 3-0 count. Top of the lineup coming up here for Oakland. Just settle down and fire some strikes. There's a strike there. Fastball down the middle. And Masterin able to get it to a 3-1 count now with two down. The 3-1 is grounded, foul down the third baseline. So the count moves full. Day, the first baseman, is on third for the Golden Grizzlies. It's a full count to Eric Larson from Patrick, Patrick Mastry in the fourth. The full count pitch is in there. He got him. And that will end another scoreless inning for Patrick Mastrian as Oakland threatens with two runners on and nobody out. But Mastrian navigates through the jam and gets out of it unscathed as we will head to the bottom of the fourth with Miami still holding an 11-1 to lead. You are listening to Miami Baseball on Red Hawk Radio.
Bottom of the fourth inning action here from the key field at Hayden Park, Miami, with an 11 to 1 lead over the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. I'm Madison Lenhart alongside Andrew Relvis. And Miami has exploded offensively in this one. 11 runs in three innings of work so far for this offense, and they are not done yet. Gage Smith with a breaking ball in there for strike one to Dylan Baker, who had a beautiful extra base hit to the left field wall earlier on in the game. Takes that one outside to even the count at one and one. And that one skied in the air. Back behind the play. Looking for it, trying to get over to it, and he runs into the dugout. That was Heidel who was attempting to get over to that one, but the ball landing on top of the dugout and out of play. So the count will go to one, two. A dangerous play there, but Heidel seems to be okay. Good thing he got that chest plate on there. If he didn't, it would have been a lot worse. But Heidel looks to be okay, and I tell you, one of the best defensive catchers in the Horizon League last year. Almost made another great defensive play. And Baker waits for the breaking ball and tattoos it to left. Rice can't make the catch. And Baker is going to stop at second. But Rice got turned around there in left field and was unable to reel that one in. Another extra base hit for the Red Hawks. And a runner in scoring position with nobody out. That actually will be ruled an error, so no extra base hit there for Baker, but he does find himself on second. You talk about another pitch to uh, just Ryan clobber. Novak. Dylan Baker just did that, waited for his perfect pitch, extended at bat, and he absolutely destroyed that one out to center. Another great swing here for the Red Hawks. They just keep coming on. Oakland's in trouble. Oh, and one the count to Ryan Novak. Count even now at one and one. Freshman hitting 235 prior to this game with a home run and three RBIs. Patrolling at first base for the Red Hawks defensively, and he's plunked there by Gage Smith. And so another free base runner for the Red Hawks with Trey Keels. The right fielder coming in now. That brings up the right fielder, Trey Keels. Keels one for one with an RBI in this one as well. He's walked and hit safely. Two plate appearances so far. He's got two runners on. Facing Gage Smith. And Keels is going to foul that one out of play down the right field line. I just love this approach here from the Red Hawks. You know, they've just been so patient. They find their pitch, they're making Smith work. And, you know, as this rain continues to come on, it's kind of like the Red Hawks offensive attack. They do not give up. To center field, but playable. And Bushy is gonna get under it and make the play. Tagging and attempting to go to third is Dylan Baker, and he will dive in safely. And Novak moves up to second. Great base running there from the Red Hawks as they go station to station, move up to second and third on the sack fly there from Keels. And now Tyler Gordon will come to the plate. He has two for two with an extra base hit earlier in this game as well. Drove in a couple of runs on a triple in the first inning. Similar situation here for Gordon. He had two outs. Base runners on, trying to clear him again. Fouls the first pitch back out of play. 87 on the fastball there from Gage Smith. Oh, one breaking ball, nowhere close. And the count evens at one. Gordon, a sophomore who, prior to this game, hitting only 190 and only one extra base hit. With a multi-hit game today and an extra base hit, he's already doubled that total. 
in this game in a 1-2 count now to the Red Hawks second baseman. And that one lined to center field. Bushy is going to have to retreat to go get it. He'll make the catch just shy of the warning track. Novak to third, and Baker will come in to score for the Red Hawks, and it is 12-1. That's now three RBIs for Tyler Gordon. He, I don't believe he had an RBI entering today. He already has three, batting average way up. And another great play there from the SoCal kid, Tyler Gordon, as the Red Hawks have now put up runs in all four innings. Great stuff here from Miami. Batisic, the lone Red Hawk to not get a hit. Skies that one down the right field line, coming over to make a play, and it lands down and it's rolling over towards the right field wall but it is going to be called a foul ball uncertainty there whether or not that was a fair ball clear it was in fair territory but the ball was not when he touched it so it is a foul ball and it'll be an 0-1 count to Batisic Cleary's dove for a few of those Balls in the past, just a tough play to make, regardless of where it is. Had a great effort on that one. Keeps it alive here for Botasic. Breaking ball too far outside there from Smith, and the count is one and one. One one pitch. Fastball outside. Two one now with two down. And a runner on third for the Red Hawks in the bottom of the fourth inning. 12 to 1 the lead for Miami. And that breaking ball is in there for strike two. 2 2 count and two down to Ty Batisic, the junior. Down the left field line, but foul. That one was tattooed by Batisic. That had some heat on it. We were a ripper on the left side. And it was just a little bit foul, a little bit more fair. It would have definitely scored in the runner. That one too far inside. To Batisic and the count now full with two down. McDonald and the rest of the heart of the Miami order on deck for the Red Hawks. And the 3-2 pitch is lined to right. Clear he's going to have to retreat, and he leaps in the air to make the catch. And we will head to the top of the fifth inning. Miami gets one of, gets another run in the bottom of the fourth there on a sack fly. 12 to 1 the lead for the Red Hawks. We will head to the top of the fifth. You are listening to Miami Baseball on Red Hawk Radio. Number one, second baseman. Top of the fifth inning here in Oxford. Miami with a 12 to 1 advantage over the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. 
Patrick Mastry is still on the mound for the Red Hawks, only giving up one run and one hit so far in this one. And squaring to bunt there is Sam Griffith. Takes that one for a ball, though, and it's 1-0. Oakland has struggled to get anything together offensively. They've had a few base runners. That one is on the outside corner for the first strike. Oakland's got a few opportunities, but they have left some runners on base. And Mastrian has settled down after a bit of a sloppy start in those first two innings, but he's calmed down and pitched clean baseball since. And the throw to first base is in time there to get the run of the bobble from Dylan Baker, but Griffith is retired. That was a tough grounder. Played on really well there by Dylan Baker. Didn't get the first bounce, but able to finally corral that, put it in his glove, and threw an absolute rocket over to the first base side, over to Ryan Novak to get the first out. That's been the story of this game, this defense and this offense for the Red Hawks. They came ready to play here in the rain. They're trying to shut out the Oakland Golden Grizzlies from here on out. Bussy at the dish, a 1-0 count. Way out in front of that one, a good off-speed pitch there from Mastrian. Gets the swing and miss to even the count at one. One delivery from Mastry and is in the dirt. Mastry and already matching his strikeouts that he had against Middle Tennessee State. He had four in the win. One more would be a season high. 2 1 pitch is swung on and missed there from Bussey. 2 2 the count. One down in the inning. Nobody on for Oakland. Two two pitch is too far outside, and that will bring the count full at three and two. Can't hate that pitch on the outside corner. I expect a fastball right down the middle. Silence the Oakland Golden Grizzlies here. The pitch was fouled off there. Bussy too far out in front of that. Fights it off to keep the count at three two, and he'll. Head back to the plate. Three-two pitch. Too far outside. Mastering loses Bussy. And a base runner for Oakland. Rice coming to the plate. Trent Rice, the freshman, coming into this game. 364 average. Had an interesting day out in left field. Seen a lot of action. Has had some fits covering that spacious turf outfield here at McKee Field. And he squares the bunt there. Goes straight to the backstop. And Novak is going to th not throw out Bussy. A close play at second base. But Bussy is able to advance on the wild pitch. And so a runner in scoring position for Oakland. Fortuitous bounce off of the backstop there for David Novak. Like you just said, he nearly had Bussy, but he's too fast. Able to swipe a base. Another runner in scoring position here for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. 1-0 pitch is fouled. It's going to come back in play, and Mastrian is going to toss that one to first. That ball had some crazy spin on it. Started in foul territory and then spun back fair. And a good presence of mind there by Mastry to get off the mound and toss that one to first base to get the out. So two down now with a runner on third. As Rice was Ian? retired, and that's going to bring in Ian Cleary, the right fielder. 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout. Pitch from Mastrian, squaring to bunt is Cleary, and he could not get it down. 0-1 oh, 
with two down. One thing I have noticed here, Red Hawks against Oakland, Nashrian has really silenced the top half of this Oakland lineup. Really made them work. To center field, and McDonald is going to have to retreat a little bit to make that play, but he makes it with ease as we will head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Nashrian with another clean inning. 12-1 to 1 the lead for the Red Hawks. We're listening to Miami Baseball on Red Hawk Radio. Back to the bottom of the fifth inning here in Oxford. Miami with a 12-1 lead. Zach McDonald facing Gage Smith. McDonald two for three today. Scored a run and struck out. And he's going to head to first base for free after that hit by pitch. Quick base runner for Miami is going to bring up Rylan Zabrowski, who is two for three today. Rylan Zabrowski. McDonald a threat on the base paths for Miami. Patrols center field and has great speed. Zabrowski with a towering fly ball to deep left field, chasing Rice back towards the track, towards the wall. It is gone. Ryland Zabrowski with a two-run homer, extending the Miami lead up to 13. For Zabrowski, his second home run of the season. That home run brought to you by Turned on that inside pitch there from Gage Smith and drove it over the left field wall. A towering fly ball that took forever to land, but it lands beyond the left field fence. And for Miami, two more runs added to the total, up to 14 now. That wall out to left, it says 332. That one probably went 350. An absolute rocket and looked like a golf swing. That one was just in the air forever. The apex probably at 320 and just kept flying. That has been the epitome of today here for the Red Hawks. Just all offense and relentless. Breaking ball in there to David Novak. That was Zabrowski's second home run of the season. And another strike there to Novak, one and two. Ground ball left side. Over to first base to make the play for Oakland. And one down in the inning. Brandon Nye over there at third, able to retire Novak. Number two, so to the plate Anthony comes Anthony Zarlingo, Zarlingo, also two for three with two RBIs. And even in the outs, so far pretty productive. You keep the ball in play, making Oakland work. And you'll take that as a hitter. You know, you don't get the hit, but definitely keep it in play and can make it happen. They're up by 13 now, so run rules 
probably going to be in play coming up. Be a great start to the day for Miami. Up the middle on a base hit, there's our lingo. Big turn at first base, but he'll head back there. And another runner on for Miami. The 15th hit now of the game for the Red Hawks. This is our lingo at first. Three for four now on the day. And Dylan Baker, the shortstop, will head to the plate for Miami. That one grounded down the third baseline and foul. Another good thing here for the Red Hawks, they've only used one pitcher. It's probably going to stick with Mastrian to the sixth inning. We'll see about a closer, but it's good that the Red Hawks haven't made a ton of substitutions. You keep that energy for the rest of the weekend against Oakland. 1-1 one, one the count. Is our lingo a threat on the base paths? Outside corner for strike two from Gage Smith. So Dylan Baker with one down. Behind in the count. Ryan Novak on deck. One two pitches in the dirt. Kept in front of nicely by Heidel at the plate to prevent Zarlingo from advancing. One thing you gotta love from Baker, hit 288 last year. He has pretty much two long doubles tonight. It's been great swing and some great results from Dylan Baker. Full count now to Baker with one down as our lingo will stay put at first as that one is skied down the right field line giving chase is Cleary. He's going to come in and that ball will land out of play. So miscommunication down the right field line by Oakland. Larson was pursuing that one along with Ian Clearly and and Day, the first baseman, but nobody able to quite get to that one. Count remains full to Baker. He fights off that breaking ball to stay alive. 72 on the gun there from Gage Smith. Inside corner and Smith retires Baker. Another off speed pitch caught the inside corner there from Gage Smith. So he gets the second out of the inning. Ryan Novak at the plate now for Miami. Sarlingo still at first, Keels on deck for the Red Hawks. Inside corner and a strike to Novak. His at bats, it's been long and tough for Smith. He's been able to win the majority of them, but it's another good sign for the Red Hawks. They're making the pitcher work. Down the right field line and into the corner and off to the races goes Zarlingo. He's gonna head to third and score easily. On to third is Ryan Novak, and he will stand with a triple. A hard line drive over the first baseman's head, and Novak found that deep right field corner and was able to get all the way to third in the process of driving in the 15th run for the Red Hawks. Number 10, Trey Keels. Trey Keels now. Fort Smith, Virginia, to the plate with two down for Miami to face Gage Smith of Oakland. Those swings by Miami are just so tough. I've seen a ton of those that go out to the far right corner, far left corner. They make life really tough for those corner outfielders. And another rocket off of the bat of Ryan Novak, his fourth RBI of the day. He's only a freshman. Skied in the air to right. Giving chase again is Cleary, and he has plenty of room to come in and make the catch for the final out. 
So three runs in the bottom half of the fifth for the Red Hawks. The lead 15 to 1. We will head to the top of the sixth inning. Oakland looking to battle back into this one. With the game looking bleak for the Grizzlies. You are listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Nine. Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Miami 15-1 to one over the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Patrick Mastrian on the mound has been fantastic for Miami today. He continues against Brandon Nye, the third baseman from Oakland. Squares to bunt, gets it down the third baseline, and he will get an easy bunt single. Just the second hit surrendered by Mastry in today in this one. Four strikeouts, a couple of walks. He's hit a few batters, but he's limited damage. Lucas as best as he can throughout this game. A couple of opportunities Oakland has had with runners in scoring position, and Mastry has managed to navigate through it. And the runner on first. That pitch is fouled off by Cleary. Excuse me, that's actually Day at the plate. That bunt single from Nye, exactly what you want to do to start the inning. Hopefully a sign of things to come here for Oakland. Bleak so far, but, you know, rock bottom only way to go up is up. Ball on a strike now to Day into this game with three home runs and nine RBIs, leading the team in both categories. And that one outside. Mastery in behind the count, 2-1. Lucas Day, just a freshman, started five games prior to today, 333 average at the plate. Outside, and the count now 3-1. Leading off first. 3 1 the count. Mastrian to Lucas Day. And off goes the runner. And it was a walk, so the runner will slide safely into second, but it wouldn't have mattered. So first and second now after the free pass issued by Mastrian. Brandon Heidel. So Brandon Heidel is going to come to the plate. Been behind the dish all day for Oakland. Mastrian grounded right back up the middle. Easy turn for Dylan Baker, who turns two unassisted. And just like that, there are two down in the inning. What a play there from Dylan Baker, able to get the stop in. Just an effortless double play. Baker over to Novak and exactly how the Red Hawks want to draw this one up quickly. 
two outs. It was looking kind of bleak to start. And bottom half of the lineup here for Oakland. Got to get some runs to avoid that run rule. Longer takes a strike. Oh, one the count. Runner on third is Nye. And mastering Balk, so Nye is going to come to the plate. way for Oakland to get on the board here in the sixth. They scratch across their second run as Nye comes in on the balk. Rain still falling fairly steadily here in Oxford. Breaking ball is swung on and missed there by Longer. One two count now with two down in the inning. Chance for Mastering to limit the damage once again here. That ball low and appeal to first base. And Longer did not offer fully at that pitch. 2-2 two -two now. On Mastering here, just go with your bread and butter. Try some off-speed pitch here. You got some room to maneuver in the inning. 2-2 two -two pitches in the dirt to make it three and two. So a full count here. Two down in the inning. And the payoff from Mastrian is too far outside. Excuse me, that was actually ball three there. So now the count is full. Payoff from Mastrian, grounded left side and Zabrowski will make the play on the run to retire Longer at first. Miami gives up one to Oakland on the balk but limits the damage and leads heading to the bottom of the sixth inning by a score of 15 to two as we will be right back with the bottom of the sixth. You are listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Bottom of the sixth here at McKee Field in Oxford, Ohio, and a new pitcher entering the game for Oakland, Doug Loden, the red shirt junior. Transfer from Joliet Junior College in Illinois. 6-1 right-hander will look to hold Miami in check here in the bottom of the sixth, a 15-2 lead for the Red Hawks. Pitch hitting for Miami. As Justin Gorski, the freshman, will come into the game for the Red Hawks. Rockford, Illinois product. So Loden will deal to Gorski here. That one outside. the count. And that one skied in the air. Shallow center field. Multiple Grizzlies trying to find it amidst the overcast weather and it, it is caught eventually there by the second baseman Larson. So in an unproductive 
trip to the plate there for Gorski. As he is retired. To the plate now, Ty Batisich. Hitless on the day. Him and Gorski, the only two hitless Redhawks that have made it to the dish today. He's managed to scratch across a run of his own, though. A breaking ball on the outside corner. To start him off behind in the count at 0-1. Zach McDonald, the center fielder on deck, has had a nice day at the plate, two for three. A couple of runs scored. Batisic takes the ball there. One and one the count now from Doug Loden. For Batisic, even though he's hitless, all three of his outs have been really productive. Three fly outs, right, right, and center. He's walked and been left on base twice. I couldn't believe Miami's had even more opportunities than they've been able to capitalize on. Despite scoring 15, they've left just as many runners as Oakland on the base pads in this one, and that one right through the catcher and to the backstop. So a 3-1 count now to Batisic, the junior out of Joliet, Illinois. And that one too far inside. Loden didn't like the call, but Batisic will head to first in a free pass offered by Oakland. Zach, Zach McDonald is going to come to the plate now for Miami, the center fielder. Miami's managed to score in every single inning of the game so far. Six in the first, four in the second, one apiece in the third and fourth, and then five in the bottom half of the third inning. Scoreless so far here in the bottom half of the six, however, as Loden fires a strike in there to McDonald to begin the at-bat. Oh, 1 count. Batisic leading off first, and that one is a slow grounder towards the third baseman, and there's not going to be enough time for Nye to make a play. So McDonald beats that one out. Another infield single for the Red Hawks, and that's going to bring Rylan Zabrowski, who was three for four on the day, had that big two-run home run in his previous at-bat over the left field wall. And here's what makes the Red Hawks so dangerous. You got power hitters galore throughout your top half of the lineup, but they can also shorten things up. Zach McDonald definitely did that there. A beautiful short single along the left side. Brings up Zaborowski once more with another runner in scoring position. 13 run advantage to the Red Hawks. Trying to make it more now. First pitch to Zabrowski was low and outside. The red shirt junior third baseman. Tattoos that one to left. And that one is well out of here. A three-run bomb for Rylan Zabrowski, his second home run of the game. His third home run of the season in the lead, now 18-2 for the Red Hawks. And that one flew over the scoreboard in left center field. Zabrowski got all of that pitch there from Doug Loden. This is the Ryland Zaborowski that Red Hawks fans know and love. 20 homers last year, already two today. He's going to be a great player beyond college. And come on, five RBIs and back-to-back at-bats. Red Hawks are on fire. And then Novak is hit on the very next pitch and will head to first base. Conversation here between head coach Brian Smiley and the home plate umpire. At the plate now, number two, Anthony Zarlingo. Anthony Zarlingo scored three runs today for the Red Hawks, the left fielder. Got lots of speed. He's also been left on base twice, however, three for four on the day. Still only one down in the inning with Novak at first, and that one in the dirt. Novak not able to advance. Controlled nicely by Heidel. Dylan 
Baker is the batter on deck for Miami and a visit to the pitcher's mound by the Oakland staff to check on Doug Loden. As we get deeper into this game, you know, the score is 18 to two. Just incredible stuff for Miami offensively. This is a good opportunity for hitters in the bottom half of the lineup to track some pitches, find out how you can kind of square up and stay more in tune for the next few games coming up. Good thing that the Red Hawks are up by a ton, but listen, you got two more games. You don't want to lose the series after being up by a ton here. Just got to keep that momentum into Saturday and Sunday. Ball and a strike to Zarlingo. That one too far outside there. Zarlingo ahead in the count, two and one. Miami, in addition to putting the ball in play, has done a masterful job getting ahead in the count. Very patient at the plate today. And now Zarlingo able to work the count to three and one. It just seems like every single at bat Miami has been able to work it into their favor. And Oakland has had to make tough pitches each time, and Miami has taken advantage with their aggressive approach. That one on the outside corner does catch the plate for a strike, and it's full. The 3 2 offering from Loden is poked foul out of play down the third baseline. Eighteen runs on eighteen hits for the Red Hawks. Two runs on two hits for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. It's the three two pitch from Loden is up and out. And another free pass issued by the Grizzlies. Zarlenko will head down to first base and Dylan six. Baker Dylan will Baker. head to the dish for Miami. With all these runs coming for Miami, you just hope they save some for the rest of the weekend. Up 16 right now, and Baker threatening. Two runners on can make it well more than that. That one in the dirt again. The 1-0 count. Baker one for four, a couple of runs scored. Two strikeouts on the day for the shortstop. That one too far outside, it's 2-0. It's just been one of those games for Oakland. Defensively, they've had some issues in the outfield. And Miami has tattooed every single pitcher they've brought into this game, including the starter, Pydeck. And that one way out of the zone, and it's another three ball count in favor of Miami. Delivery from Loden. There's a strike on the outside corner. Three and one, one down. Runner in scoring position. It's Novak at second. He's got decent speed. That one's high and deep down the left field line, but too far foul. Another great swing there from Baker. Reminiscent of Zaborowski's swing earlier on. Got to feel good about that type of swing as a hitter. And you know, for the pitcher, just got to get out of this one. Breaking ball. And Baker, a little far out in front, but was able to stay back and foul that one off. So a 3-2 count to the Red Hawks shortstop. Loden's pitch is lined into right center field. Cleary is going to let it get past him and off to the races. Go the Red Hawks. Baker is around second. He's headed to third. Two runs are going to score, and Baker has a stand-up two-run triple. So 20-2 to two now. A little inside-out swing there from Baker. Took the inside pitch to the opposite field. And Cleary's day in right field has been suspect at best, and it continued there. Misreading that play, and 
probably allowed Baker to pick up an extra base, getting to third there. And now Ryan Novak, the freshman, back at the plate for Miami, has driven in four runs of his own today. And he is going to add another with a base hit in the left field. Another six-run output for Miami, their second six-run frame of the day. 21-2 the lead for the Red Hawks. What a day at the office here for the Red Hawks. Bats, 20 hits. They didn't have, excuse me, they did have a ton in their last game against Middle Tennessee State where they won 17 to 13. The runs continue to stay on here for Miami. We just hope they continue to have this offensive firepower all throughout the, the weekend. Then you start feeling good as a Red Hawk fan. Conference play is soon to begin. Tom Magliaca, his first at bat for the Red Hawks this season, and he's ahead in the count 2 0. The junior from Canfield, Ohio. And that one on the outside corner. 2 1 the count from Loden to Magliaca. Fouled back. 2-2 two, two now. Still only one down in the inning. The runner on first base is Ryan Novak, the first baseman. And Magliaca deep to center field. It's going to chase Bussy back towards the warning track, but he'll put it away with plenty of room in front of the wall. And back to first base goes Novak. Magliaca. Got a piece of that one, wasn't able to get all of it though. So two down in the bottom of the sixth. The wind comes in a little bit more. Maybe that one travels a little bit farther, but a really good first swing there from Magliaca just to the warning track, nearly had it. And for the second time today, the Red Hawks have batted around in their lineup. Just another thing to talk highly about this Red Hawks offense once more top notch here at home. Justin Gorski with his second at bat of the inning. Pinch hit for Tyler Gordon to begin the frame and finds himself at the dish again. Two down in the inning with a runner on first. That one lined in a right field so Gorski now is in the hit column as Novak moves up to second. That's going to bring the Top of the order. And it looks like we're going to have another pitch hitter this time for Vatasich. As Blake Buzio, the junior, is in the on deck circle and will head to the batter's box to face Loden. The batter, the pinch hitter for the Red Hawks, it's number nine, Blake Buzio. Buzio, the junior infielder. Pinch hitting for the DH Batisic. And that one on the outside for a ball from Loden. Two runners on for the Red Hawks. Two down in the inning with the dangerous Zach McDonald on deck. And that one is skied into right. In no man's land again. Clear he's going to have to come in to make the play. And he gets under it and retires the side. So Miami. Another explosive inning at the plate as they scratch across, across six more runs. And the lead is 19 for Miami at 21 to 2. As we will head to the top of the seventh inning. Miami with a dominant performance so far. 21 to 2 lead as we will head to the top of the seventh. You are listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio.
Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Andrew Elvis alongside Addison Lenhart. In case you're just tuning in, the score is 21 to two Red Hawks on top of the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Runs in all six frames here for Miami. And now coming up for Oakland, it's gonna be Gaskins. Gaskins 0 for 2 on the day, a ground out and a strikeout. Trying to get on base for the first time today. New pitcher in here for the Red Hawks, it's Carson Byers. Excuse me, Larson. New batter in here for Oakland. Missed pitch there, 1-1 one one for Larson. Carson Byers, veteran pitcher here for the Red Hawks. Pitched in two games against Middle Tennessee State. Misses another pitch there, 2-1. and one. Red Hawks offense has been relentless. Two bombs from Ryland Zaborowski that were well hit. They went well past the wall. That's been pretty much the storyline of the Red Hawks on the scoreboard all day long. Strike two called right down the middle. The count is even on Larson. Two balls, two strikes here on Larson. He hits this one in the air out to shallow right center, running over a bit to his right, then to his left. Zach McDonald able to record the first out of the inning. And here comes up Griffith for Oakland. Number one, Sam Griffith. Red Hawks up by 19. Run roll is probably gonna be in effect. We'll see how they decide to play it. Most likely gonna be a short one here for Oakland. Strike one, excuse me, ball one. High there on Griffith. This has been a pretty fast game here. Red Hawks and Golden Grizzlies. Second pitch, better than the first. Strike one, one and one on Griffith. Started at three o'clock, so about two minutes, two hours and 20 minutes here. Introduction of the pitch clock here to Division I College. Made the game move a lot faster here. Two and one here on Griffith. Red Hawks are up by 19. Beautiful off-speed pitch that just kisses the inside corner there. Two and two on Griffith as the Golden Grizzlies is trying to stay alive here. And this one is rolled right towards the right side there. The first baseman, Novak, flips over to the pitcher there. Byers, but the race is won there by Griffith. Gets a one out single. And that extends the inning here for. Boosie set to go. The lineup flips over. Just the third hit of the game for Oakland. One of them was a bunt single, and one of them you saw that there. That dribbler towards the first baseman. And Oakland has really been put to rest by the pitching staff of Miami, who's kept everything in the infield and made it a really difficult day for the Grizzlies. Reggie. Bussy up once more. He's 0 for 1, but two walks. So productive day at the office. And he will try and advance his teammate Griffith over at first. Look out below. This one nearly nicked the top half of Reggie Bussy. Instead goes wild off to the backstop. And then Griffith steals the base. Now a runner in scoring position here for Oakland. They trail by 19. I like the move here by Novak just to calm, calm his young pitcher down. Byers, the sophomore, lefty, talented, talented pitcher. Just a little out of sorts on the last couple pitches here to begin this inning. Just got to get the two more outs and Red Hawks win the day. Meanwhile, 
Hussey up. 2-0 and in the count here. Make it 3-0. This one down low in the other batter box. Trent Rice and Ian Cleary on deck for Oakland. There's a time to be on the top half of the lineup. It's now. Have a four-pitch walk to Reggie Bussey. Makes things a little bit more interesting here in terms of the run rule. Two on and one out. It'll bring up Trent Rice for the Golden Grizzlies. So Griffith started it off with a single. And then Reggie Bussey able to get a four-pitch walk. Here's Trent Rice now who hitless, but he is 0 for 2, a strikeout, a ground out, and a hit by pitch in the first inning. Strike one, called there, beautiful pitch on Trent Rice, right down the middle. Carson Byers here just trying to finish the game strong. This one hit over to second, the tag, the throw over to first is not in time. He beat him out by just a half step and the inning and game stays alive here for Oakland. But some great heads up hustle there from Trent Rice to keep the game alive. A pitch hitter for the Grizzlies. At the plate, number 36, Kevin Arsenault. So pinch hitter coming in here for Oakland. It's Arsenault. Arsenault Jr. McKendry transfer. This one up the middle. And one gonna hold it here. Excuse me. Miss throw there. So the runner comes in. It was Griffith. Makes it three to twenty-one. Oakland trails. Arsenal here, he takes a ball upstairs, replacing Cleary, he was 0 for 3, two flyouts and a strikeout. 1-0, make it 2-0, this one down and low. Good discipline there from Arsenal. And a walk to Arsenault will put another runner on here for Oakland. The trail by 18. And Nye's going to come up, but a chat from Miami pitching coach and Novak just trying to calm down Byers. Just got to get one more out and you win the day. This has been kind of how Oakland has tended to operate offensively in this game, at least so far. They've been fairly patient at the beginning of the innings, but then they've always had a play that has stunted any sort of momentum they've been able to work up with the first few batters to begin any certain frame. And Byers just needs to settle down and finish this one off just two down. But this is what Miami has been able to do in this game. Oakland has threatened multiple times, but defensively and on the pitcher's mound, Miami has been able to now the batter, number 13, stand pat. Nye. Really been a bend but don't break style from, from the Red Hawks today. They haven't given up a ton of big plays. Nice, guys, this one up on the right side, the race for it. And it just goes out of play. So the game just stays alive here. This Red Hawks defense has been very strong. Two errors listed, but those errors really haven't costed the Red Hawks. Dylan Baker and Ryan Rylan Zaborowski have been two of the top defenders here for the Red Hawks. Runners both going. Novak's not gonna throw it anywhere. Arsenal and Rice able to advance over. 
So now two runners in scoring position here for Brendan Nye, who had a bunt single in the sixth. Started things off there for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. One and one to Nye. Clubs this one foul behind the catcher. And they are now down to the last strike. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two runners on here. And Oakland trailing by 18 here in the seventh. Pickoff attempt over at second. The ball gets away from Gordon there. So just a little bit late there. Game stays alive. Had Arsenal off just for a moment. Didn't matter, however. Nye trying to stay alive here against Carson Byers. The one-two pitch is swung on a miss. Strikeout swinging. And that will... <laughs> Do it for the seventh inning. Oakland Golden Grizzlies come up empty. And we will head to the bottom half of the seventh with the score 21 to 3. No run rules being applied here. So we got more baseball here from McKee Field at Hayden Park. Stay tuned for more. You're listening to Miami Baseball on Red Hawk Radio. Coming in to pitch and relief, number 44, Jackson Easterling. Moving over to play in right field is number three, Trent Rice. Staying in to take left field, number 36, Gavin Arsenault. Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Garrison Burreal up to the plate here for the Red Hawks. He hits this one decently far out to center. But for... Oakland, Bussy's under there, able to catch the out. And that's the first out of the inning here for Miami. Now at the plate, number 15, Ryland Zabrowski. Easterland up pitching here for Oakland, facing off against Ryland Zabrowski. And Zabrowski has had a game to remember for quite a long time. Four for five with two homers, five RBIs. Great for the Red Hawks to see this guy getting going early here in the season. Strike two called quickly there and quickly Ryland Zabarowski behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. This one down and away, one and two is the new count. Zabrowski, Miami's hit leader and home run leader. And he goes out of his way, swings this one, strikes out swinging, and quickly two up, two down on Miami's side. It'll bring up David Novak with two outs and bases clear. Catcher, David Novak. So an uncharacteristic quick start to the inning 
for Miami. Brings up David Novak. Base is clear and two outs. First pitch, strike one. Nice pitch down low to start the at-bat off. Second pitch just missed a little bit outside. It'll be one and one. Red Hawks next two games will be against Oakland Saturday and Sunday. Novak swings and misses there, one and two. Game tomorrow at one o'clock and then the third one on Sunday at three, or excuse me, one o'clock as well. The one and two pitch, this one is clubbed in the air out to left. Everyone running over on the left side. Instead, Griffith is gonna take care of business there. He catches the pop out. And that will do it for the Red Hawk half of the seventh inning. The score, 21 to three, Miami on top of Oakland. We'll step away for the top half of the eighth. Yet to come in just one moment. Miami baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Score is 21 to 3 Red Hawks on top of the Oakland Golden Grizzlies in the eighth inning now. Rain once more coming down. Red Hawks trying to get out of the rain here quickly and end off the day with a nice W over Oakland. Looking good so far here for the Red Hawks. Lucas Day up to the plate. He's one for two. Single, a walk, and a ground out. This one, a little bouncer over to the pitcher there. Carson Byers, a full head of steam right to first. He wins the race against Lucas Day, and that is the first out of the inning. A quick one at that. Nice play there by Byers showing the ability to fee field his position, and the athleticism to get off the mound and veer to his offside in order to make that play. That's not an easy play to make, but he made it look easy there. Coming up here for Oakland. This pitch there. It'll be Ben Clark up to the plate. Limited action here, replacing Brendan Heidel, who was pretty solid for Oakland. He takes strike two there quickly. Ben Clark, only one at bat on the year. Played against Eastern Kentucky. Through a walk. No balls and two strikes, one out, base is clear. Carson Byers delivers this one off speed. Swung on a miss, strikeout swinging on Ben Clark. And quickly two up, two down on Oakland. It'll bring up Lowinger for the Golden Grizzlies. So two strikeouts on the day for Byers, six overall. 
for Miami. Patrick Mastrian had four. And a really good outing for the Red Hawks. Six innings, 94 pitches, only two hits surrendered. It's very efficient work from the veteran pitcher. Lawinger draws a bunt, and this one will go foul. So he'll retreat back to home plate. It's a new count, one and one. So only four more outs remaining for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. They got to make up a ton of ground. They trail by 18. They also trail the, the hits column by 18. Still got a shot, though. The rain continues to pour on here. One ball and one strike on Longer. This one a little high there. Two and one now. Got to wonder how the, the rain might start to affect Byers on the mound and his ability to grip that baseball. Good looking breaking ball there. And that's those are kind of the pitches that can tend to get away from you when that ball gets slick. The way you grip it is what able is what you know allows you to put that spin on it to make that ball break. And Byers controlling it well there on that pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Swung on a miss. Strikeout swinging on Longer. Back-to-back -back K's on the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and a 1-2-3 eighth inning here for Miami pitching. Carson Byers, another phenomenal inning. Retires the side in order and we will head to the bottom half of the eighth. Red Hawks up a ton, 21-3 to as we take a break. You're listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back to baseball. Our score 21 to three as the rain continues to pour down here on a very chilly day here in Oxford, Ohio. Got a little bit more action left to go here. Esterlin's second inning of action. He was very solid against the Red Hawks. Retired them in order. Here comes up Anthony Zerlingo once more who takes ball one. Zerlingo. Three for four, three singles, two RBI singles, fly out and a walk. So good day at the office here for Zarlingo. Strikes thrown there. Now ball, two and one on Zarlingo here against Esterlin. This one tapped over to third. The throw is not going to be had. Real ripper off the bat of. Zarlingo and leadoff single there in the eighth inning by Anthony Zarlingo will bring up Dylan Baker for the Red Hawks. I think Nye just wasn't able to grip that ball because of how Dylan slick it was Baker. coming off the turf there. Wasn't able to get it out of his glove. Good hustle there by Zarlingo though. His third hit of the, of the day, or his fourth hit of the day, excuse me. This rain is really pouring down. It's going to be a tough day pretty much for anyone. It's got to feel fun, though, to play in the rain. You don't get that very often. Dylan Baker up to bat here for the Red Hawks. 
Takes a quick strike two. Baker, a two-run triple in his last at bat in the sixth inning. One of many Red Hawks to contribute. 0-2, oh make it strike three called on Dylan Baker on the outside corner. A beautiful strikeout, off-speed pitch there from Jackson Esterlin gets the first strikeout of the day as well as the first out of the inning. With that, it'll bring up Ryan Novak, the freshman. He has not been retired today. A ton of RBI hits, three RBI hits. RBI single, double, triple. Just missing that home run for the cycle. Strike two called quickly here on Ryan Novak as he tries to gear back in here against Esterlin. 0-2 on Novak, and he fouls this one back right to the screen. 21-3 is our score. 22-3, the Red Hawks are leading in the hit column. A day where they have absolutely clobbered the baseball. Novak fouls one back on the left side. Excuse me, it was in play. This one off the glove there of Trent Rice. Rain definitely a factor, and a stand-up one-out double there from Ryan Novak. Brings two runners in scoring position here for Miami. What a swing there, once more. Good piece of hitting there from Novak. Just missed the home run as that ball landed just shy of the wall there on the warning track. But Rice had a beat on it, just in and out of the glove. It's got to be hard to see with this rain pounding down into your face as you're trying to look up and catch that ball amongst the clouds. But Novak hustling out of the box, able to get a couple of runners in scoring position. So two runners in scoring position here. Zarlingo on third, Novak on second. Here comes Dom Maglioka for the second time today. Takes a quick strike two on the outside corner. Maglioka on his last at bat went 0 for 1. Fly out. Got a, another great opportunity here to bring in some runners. High heat swung on a miss. Strikeout swinging. Second K of the inning here for Jackson Esterlin. Third baseman. With that, it'll bring up Gorski for the Red Hawks. Two outs, two runners on. Trying to extend the inning here for Miami. Good, uh, good outing today for Gorski, despite you know not starting, coming in, getting a couple of at bats, had that hit in his last at bat. But Miami's been able to stretch out the depth here a little bit. A lot of pinch hitters who've been able to get some looks at the dish today. And that's really what it's all about once you get these big leads and you put these games away, just getting some of your guys some game time and some reps at the dish. Maglioka grounds one right to Gaskins. Didn't have to move much. Throws over to first the day in time. And that's going to do it for the Red Hawks. Half of the eighth. So two runs, excuse me, no runs, two hits, and no errors for Oakland. We will head to the top half of the ninth. Last licks for the Golden Grizzlies. They trail by 18, trying to bring this one back here against the Red Hawks. Stay tuned for more. You're listening to Miami Baseball on Red Hawk Radio.
Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Our score 21 to three. Miami on top of the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Here we are, top half of the ninth. New pitcher in here for Miami, Ryan Zimmer. The senior from St. Clair, Michigan. He's a Michigan transfer actually. He played three years for the Wolverines in Big Ten play. Only played in 12 games. 10 and a third innings pitched for them. For the Red Hawks in the most recent action for them versus Middle Tennessee State. Pitch an inning and two thirds. Surrendered three hits Grizzlies, and one seven. earned run. Eric Struck out Larson. one as well. But here we go. Last chance for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. They trail by 18, and here comes up Larson to the dish. First pitch, Larson sees he hits an absolute rocket off of the bat of him. Zaborowski dived for it, didn't have a chance, and a stand-up double there for Larson. What a play and what a rip. Great way to start off the inning. He just went with that ball, pulled it right down the left field line. A good piece of hitting there from Larson. This game still decided for the most part, but you know, just like Miami's trying to get extra looks up this big, it's a chance for Oakland to get some more game reps in a non-meaningful situation for the most part. The game all but put away for Miami. Griffith up to the bat now. He has runner in scoring position being Eric Larson. Takes ball one down low from Ryan Zimmer. Rain is falling down in buckets now. Just rain everywhere. Red Hawks trying to get out of this as quickly as possible. And this one against the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Back-to-back -back balls from Zimmer against Riffith. He is one for three, two ground outs and a single, along with a stolen base. Two balls and no strikes. And Griffith stares at a third ball. Elevated, but just outside of the zone. After that Larson hit, that was the fourth of the day for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. And a four-pitch walk dealt to Griffith. Makes things a little bit more interesting here for the Red Hawks. Two on. No outs. Top half of the lineup Defender, comes up. Reggie, Reggie Bussey. So Reggie Bussey coming into today. Top hitter in the lineup. He does not have a hit, but still good day at the plate. Three walks and a fly out. First pitch missed there by Zimmer against Bussey. Ball one. Two runners on here. No outs. Second pitch. Ball two. Part of the lineup upcoming here for Oakland. Zimmer has to be careful here. Reggie Bushy takes strike one there. Good pitch from Zimmer. But just got to be careful if you're Miami. Don't want things to get too out of hands. You got a nice 18 run cushion. Just halt the momentum here for Oakland. Ball three, high and away on Reggie Bussy. He's well ahead in this count here. Three and one, three and two now. Beautiful fastball over the heart of the plate that completely fooled Reggie Bussy there. Full count, set to go.
Three balls, two strikes, two runners on. Payoff pitch. This one fouled back and out of play. So full count, it stays. Reggie Bushy trying to bring in a runner here. Looks like there's going to be a pinch runner here for Oakland. Looks like Carter Hain, the infielder, a junior coming in to Coming in for Oakland and standing in at second base and second base Hain. Hain is going. Doesn't matter. Pitches a ball and another walk. Dealt to Bussy. Fourth of the day. Great day at the plate. And just like that, the bases are full of Golden Grizzlies here for Trent Rice. Set to go. The trail by 18, but. One swing of the bat could draw things a bit closer here for Oakland. First pitch strike one to Trent Rice. Good pitch on the outside corner there from Ryan Zimmer. This one fouled on the right side. Quickly 0-2 on Trent Rice. You got Bussy on first. Hain on third. And Griffith on second. No balls and two strikes quickly here to Trent Rice. The pitch home just a bit high there. It'll be one and two now. Rice has reached base twice on the day. Trying to make it a third and extend the game here for Oakland. The one two pitch down and away. Good stop there from Novak. Evens the count two and two. Two balls, two strikes, bases full of Golden Grizzlies. Look out, the Miami dugout. That one was fouled directly into the fencing there. Fortunate for that. And the game, the at bat stays alive here. Two and two on Trent Rice. The 2-2 two -two pitch again, and this one is clubbed in the air out to right. It's going to go foul, and this at bat continues to progress. Oakland not showing any quit. They are just trying their best to get some more runs and make this one interesting. The 2-2 two -two pitch again is high there. Now a full count again. Zimmer in danger of walking in a run. Still no outs. Red Hawks up by 18. The payoff pitch home, swung on a miss. Strikeout swinging on Trent Rice. Ryan Zimmer wins the battle. A very long duel between those two. But finally, the Red Hawks get out on top and they get the first out of the inning. Zimmer just going back to the basics there, rearing back and firing that fastball. And Rice just not able to catch up with that one. Hopefully getting himself back on track after a rough start to this inning. Settled down there by getting that strikeout. Here's Arsenault now who walked in his first at bat. Pinch hitter took over for Ian Cleary, who had a rough day at the plate. And this one hit his left hand, shaking that one off. I'm sure that one doesn't feel very good. Hit by pitch will bring in the runner being Hain. And the score is now 21-4. to four. So Arsenal 
It's a run in by being Number hit three, by a pitch. Nye. With that, it'll bring in Brandon Nye for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Base is still loaded, one out. First pitch by Zimmer is down and low, ball one. So Nye has one hit, a bunt single, one for four with two strikeouts. Second pitch in the dirt, 2-0 and now. Lucas Day and Heidel on deck, excuse me, Clark on deck. Replace title. Two zero pitch, make it three and zero. Three straight balls dealt from Zimmer, and the Golden Grizzlies continue to stay patient here in top of the ninth. Three and zero pitch here to Nye. Strike one called there. Good pitch on the top corner. Nye the four hitter, Day the five hitter, set to go next. And ball four called, Zimmer walks in another runner. It's now five to 21. And Brian Smiley's gonna have a chat here with his pitcher. I think this might be the end of the line for Ryan Zimmer as Coach Smiley motions to the pen. Not a great outing for Zimmer. He's going to end up with two earned runs and only a third of an inning of work. Just not able to find the control in this inning. So that's going to do it for Ryan Zimmer. Bases are still loaded. One out. New pitcher upcoming here for the Red Hawks. We'll see who it is in just one moment. You're listening to Miami Baseball here on Red Hawk Radio. Stay tuned for more action here from Oxford. Welcome back to McKee Field at Hayden Park. Our score five to twenty-one after a pair of walked-in runs from Ryan Zimmer. New pitcher in it's Nick DeMonica facing off against Lucas Day. And second pitch missed two and zero now. Andrew Elvis alongside Addison Lenhart. So glad you could spend your afternoon with us wherever you are.
Bases loaded, full of Golden Grizzlies. Red Hawks trying to end this one. Pitch right over the heart of the plate, but just elevated there from Nick DeMonica. 3-0 now. Three balls and no strikes on Lucas Day. And this one just nicked the lower corner there. 3-1 and one on Day. Three balls and one strike, Lucas Day trying to extend it here for Oakland, and he does just that. Three walked in runners for Oakland. They haven't had a ton of hits, and they get another run to score. Three of the six runs have been scored in this inning alone, and Oakland not done yet. Ben Clark sets to go here for Oakland. And he clubs this one on the right side. It goes foul. Clark, the six hitter. Bottom half of the lineup upcoming here for Oakland. Trying their best to extend this game here for the Golden Grizzlies. This pitch is hammered out to center. Zach McDonald retreating back just a bit, able to make the catch for the second out. Coming in to score, however, is Arsenault and the Golden Grizzlies tack on another run. It's seven to 21 now after the sack fly there from Ben Clark. Number seven, John Lowinger. So John Lowinger comes up here, the tall task of trying to keep this game alive here. Golden Grizzlies trail by 14. Lowinger will do his best to extend this game. First pitch missed, ball one down low. Got Day on first, Nye on second. Lowinger at the plate. Second pitch missed, ball two. Grizzlies stay alive. Lavenger so far is 0 for 3. Grounded out into a double play in the third, excuse me, the fourth. Ground out and a strikeout. On with the hit by pitch. Strike one called. Good pitch there from Nick DeMonica. Count goes to two and one. Two balls and one strike. Two runners on here for Oakland. The two one pitch is in the dirt. Three and one now. Miami has issued nine walks so far in this game. And if there's anything to take away from this performance, and it's been a great one, that would be something that you would hope to get cleaned up if you're the Red Hawks throughout the course of the season. 3-1 pitch, and this one is belted out to left center, going back at the track, at the wall. And Anthony Zarlingo back right to the wall, able to make the catch, and that's going to do it here from McKee Field at Hayden Park. So Oakland, they had a chance of maybe making things interesting here. They had four runs in the top of the ninth. They simply did not go away, but... Nick DeMonica comes in, needing to make two quick outs, and he does just that. The Red Hawks win 21-7 over the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Two more games in this series here from Oxford. Great start to the weekend here for Miami. And just a great performance offensively for the Red Hawks, and starting off, as you said, this series on a strong note. You know, a day where the weather was not really on either team's side, not great baseball weather, but the bats showed up today in the second straight explosive offensive performance for the Red Hawks. So you got to think that they've got a lot of momentum heading into the rest of this weekend. And you're going to expect some 
some good results from this squad against Oakland finishing out this series. The final score, 21 to seven, Red Hawks defeat the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. They improve to three and five overall on a two game winning streak now after defeating Middle Tennessee State in the last game of the series. And then they take down the Oakland Golden Grizzlies today. Two game winning streak. Oakland falls to three and five overall. So same record between these two teams. Two game losing streak after falling to Cincinnati in their most recent game. We'll have Red Hawks baseball in the tomorrow at one o'clock. It'll be Miami versus Oakland in game two of the series. And then on Sunday, game three on Red Hawk radio. Uh, both at 1 o'clock. We hope you can join us during that time. But we've got Miami hockey next in a short time. We'll have that for you on Red Hawk Radio. Andrew Elvis alongside Addison Lenhart. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we will see you in our next Red Hawk Radio broadcast.